Hiya folks, you join me once again. This time we're in our 2C EV. This is the pre-production right-hand drive version. And today we're doing a range test. So the car is fully charged. I'm going to drive it as far as I can and until it stops. And when it stops, then you'll see how far it goes. What I've got here is if I can show you while I'm driving, I've got my bike computer with the uh, what runs off sat, um, uh, satellites, so we've got a precise, accurate figure of how far we've driven. So let's see how we get on. While we're here, I would just like to remind folks that we have a 2CV buyer's guide online. For anybody who's thinking of buying a 2CV for the first time or maybe the second time just wants a bit more buyer's information so uh, check it out if you the links below um, but basically if you go to our 2CV shop website subscribe to our newsletter then you'll get the free buyer's guide you might think ah he's doing a range test but there's only one person in the car in case it slipped your attention I'm not a small chap and you might have noticed with the route we are taking the the country lanes because that is what people do well a majority of people do in classic cars or in 2CVs and I'm not driving like a nun I'm driving like I would normally drive on a road like this in this car as you can see I got the roof off as it is a uh, lovely summer's day now if I wanted to eke out every last drop of range out of the batteries I would not have the roof off because it, it, it's the car is far more aerodynamic with the roof on what I'm going to do when the car runs out of power I'll be stuck now if you look behind uh, you'll see in the film there's a blue car following us all the time and that's why I make Paul who's coming along for the ride in the back of the car we've got the A-frame so when we, when we stop we can connect the A-frame and tow it to the local charger and just to prove I'm not dawdling around at 10 miles an hour to get every last drop of range out of the car you know this is this is a suitable speed for the road we're on as you can see because I'm keeping up with the vehicle in front another question we get asked quite a lot is what is the charging time now the charging time in this car is approximately from empty to four about four hours but it's a different mindset with an electric car. With a petrol car, you fill it up once it gets close to empty. With an electric car, you plug it in when you're not using it, what's most of the time. So don't go thinking, well, I've got half a charge, I'll fill it up when it's empty. No. When you've got it parked up, just plug it in. My big concern with making an electric 2CV was losing the DNA and the soul of the car. Um, that's one of the reasons we retained the gear box and the gear lever because that's all part of the DNA of the car and a lot of people said and I was a little concerned about this once you remove the engine that's it it's no longer a 2CV but the car still makes noise it, it, it's, it's still a 2CV and to be frank and honest I think it's a better 2CV for it just driven past Salisbury's Park and Ride and there was car chargers in there so if you want to visit you can go in there, charge your car and uh, go to Salisbury for the day. Most Park and Rides will have car chargers. But if you can see it, we're coming up to 25 miles. If you want to know where your local chargers are, there's a really good website called, or an app for your phone called Zap maps. If I remember, I'll put a link in below. Here we are, folks. We have made it to the uh, Beauty Motor Museum, um, and we still got plenty of charge left. So let's uh, find some in the park. What's this bloke doing? 
there it is, the motor museum. Uh, the electric car charges are down here because I, I use them in my other car. Are these people crossing? No. Here are folks who have made it. And here are the uh, car charges. But I'm not going to plug in. It's what, what we got. We got a Type 2 and I think that's a, that's a Type 2. But let's see how much we got left in the battery. And if you can see that, that is the... Let's try if I can see the gate. There you go. So just under a quarter of a tank and the plan was to drive around the car park until I ran out of power. But uh, I've got too much power left, so we'll, instead of plugging in, we'll carry on, see what happens. Hope you're enjoying my little scenic ramble through the new forest. I haven't got a clue where I'm going, to be frankly honest. Uh, the battery gauge is almost showing empty, so I shall probably pull over in a minute and uh, connect on the car. Or if I can find a car park, we'll drive around the car park. The horses are so used to cars passing them, they don't, it, the cars don't even bother them. I think they're probably getting in under the bridge out of the, out of the sun, get a bit of shade. <laughs> Afternoon ladies, looking tasty. Yeah, they, they just want the shade. Here we are folks, just pulled over in this lovely car park in the New Forest. And we haven't run out of charge because that would just be dangerous to uh, run out of charge in a public highway. Um, I'll work out the proper figures tonight when I get in with the GPS and uh, we'll let you know.